a a special strat chat tonight we are joined by our good friend jacob hacker um from netflix's the mole um but obviously so much more than that um fantastic firefighter that he is <laughs> thanks for yes. coming back um we don't have anything specific to talk about right we just hanging out tonight just having a good old time um oh well can i take over then real quick if you want, of Ooh. course you can take over. This is your night. We'll be taking over. Hi, welcome to Strat Chat. I am here with Gina, <laughs> Kyle, and John. We're here to discuss some life endeavors. We have a wonderful yeah. show planned for you guys, and we're about to bust right into it. Kyle, tell us your deepest, darkest secret. No, I'm just kidding. Whoa, no. my <laughs> deepest, darkest <laughs> secret. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> He's I over here trying so to get much. granular, and we didn't <laughs> even run the theme yet. Like, what? That was amazing. That was amazing, <laughs> honestly. Yeah. That was the most amazing <laughs> intro I think we've ever had. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> so fun. So fun. Um, you can find us on the socials at Strat Chat Pod. And um, that's about it. Obviously, I'm Kyle Petty. I'm joined by my festy besties, John Dunphy and Gina Morgino. And this is Strat Chat. And again, we are here with our good friend, Jacob Hacker. Thanks for coming oh, back. Thank I you. All the board, indeed. All <laughs> Can you believe the last time that we were all together was eight months ago? Like, Good Lord, it does That's, not yeah. feel that long ago. No, it doesn't. When I was rewatching like bits of what we did the last time, I was like, "What do you mean eight months? Like that's wow. almost a year." <laughs> I was just a child back then, <laughs> right? Yeah, we were all different people then. Like yeah. Kyle, like, Kyle sent me like a clip because he was watching the old stream back, and he just the clip he sent me was just me going. <laughs> it's blowing my nose because I was dealing with COVID. <laughs> Poor John Kyle COVID. Was like, Kyle's like, mute yourself, John. <laughs> it's like, this is bad pod behavior. <laughs> <laughs> We're having so a pod cool. etiquette class next. Damn. Yes, <laughs> we are. A clinic, if you will. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Not the same people as we were before, right? You just celebrated a milestone birthday, right? Happy belated. Stop. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm 25 now. That is that is yeah. false sauce. <laughs> 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 and you know, 25 was... is not a milestone unless you're so excited to run down to Enterprise Rent a Car. Yes, um, renting my first car. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I booked a hotel room. <sighs> <laughs> I like I'm honestly I'm so excited to talk to you though like not specifically about a show that you've been on recently or something like because we've been trying to do this more like casual conversation sort of thing where like mm -hmm. we you know bring back friends of ours and like let's just catch up and like see what's been going on so like I can't wait to talk to you about you know a bunch of different things so um I don't know where to start where do you guys want to start <laughs> well I thought we had already started I was really proud of my segue into the birthday party um that was <laughs> that was right before the fourth of July right you have people over you know such and such was open so tell yeah. us some things about the birthday party did you have a good time oh I had a blast I mean oh good you know I am not a fan of my birthdays I hate celebrating my birthday I just there's too much hype there's too much stress it's just another day to me and oh, especially in the modeling and acting world, you know, I like to say I can play the role of 24 to 38, maybe 40, if you give me some makeup. So now I had a trip planned over to North Carolina in the Outer Banks so two days after I was late after my birthday. So when it came down to it on the actual day, I was like, you know what? I'm off that day. I don't have any plans. I'm just going to put it out there and say, whoever wants to come, come. And so for my dirty 30, I just opened up my shop doors. I've got an 18 foot bar out in my shop that I built. And I saw those it, pictures. It looks sick. Yeah. I'll have to film out there sometime. We'll go out there and yeah, man. I can show you guys and mixology, you know, make some drinks. But it was a blast. You know, I had people stopping in and out all day, people having a drink with me, sitting by the fire, sitting at the bar, having laughs and talking about the good old days back when I was a young buck. Now I'm an old man. So, <laughs> so it was, I mean, really you're, fun. listen, you're the youngest one out of the four of us. So watch like, it. Literally, yeah. 
we're all older than you, so like, stop Aww. insulting us in our house. Yeah, sorry, we're we're all, we're, we're all here <laughs> withering away. <laughs> You're like, I'm oh, not withering away. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was it was a really really good time. I had a I had a great great day, great birthday. Nice, nice. That's awesome. Yeah. I had screenshotted the picture that you had shared of like the bar. And I was like, oh, and like I was going to text John and be like, oh my gosh, <laughs> Jacob's having a birthday party. We should just go through it. And I was like, Kyle, delete, 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 delete. He lives in Ohio. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, like, just, we'll, just, we'll just shoot out a quick flight. <laughs> I'm like, Kyle, what are you talking about? Imagine. I would have been like, oh, this is passed by. This is like, be those people. Like, yo, who are those guys? Like, I don't know. I spoke to them like a few months ago. Like, <laughs> how awesome would that have been, though? You guys just show up, like, all right, we're, we're filming Strat Chat on location. Let's do this. Jacob, put your drink down. <laughs> actually, grab another drink and exactly. let's grab get to talking. Put it down. <laughs> yeah, we actually, we're, we're actually going to require you to double fist through this whole interview. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> like, that's the way it is. Yeah. Yes, you have to. It's a requirement. So listen, yeah. yes. Thirsty Wednesdays. <laughs> oh man. I want to I actually I want to ask you about like some of the stuff you've been doing since we talked to you and you did them all. Like I, I saw a, a, a great post that you, you you've been doing a lot of radio stuff and like podcast stuff and like uh yeah. so that one uh it was uh, power 98.5 satellite radio, right? That was the one. And I yes. just I wanted to know like some of the stuff you've been doing in radio and podcast and how that's been like any like big memorable, you know, memorable moments or like anything that was really like super exciting for you that you got to do or. Uh... I mean, the biggest thing I've done since I've spoken with you guys was the Australian firefighters calendar. Did you guys, mm. we didn't talk yes. about that, did we? No, we, no, didn't we talk didn't. About it, but I want to. Ooh, woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah i actually that, was saying to kyle before that a lot of people have said that i have the exact same physique as you and everything i look exactly the same you know i you so, know if if you i would can, grow you my, by my chicken leg arms <laughs> if i would grow my <laughs> facial hair out or you would shave yours i don't think they'd be able to tell us apart exactly <laughs> listen john so, Ray. I love you so much, but stop it. Don't lie. <laughs> Our audio only friends. Okay. They're gonna be all of a sudden the views are gonna go up and then people gonna get mad. I do wonder all You're the very time handsome, when... but it's not firefighting, that's for sure. I, I truly do wonder all the time what audio onlys have decided we look like. They hate us. They turn us on, they're like, what the hell is this? <laughs> yeah, shut up. <laughs> that's what they say. I was only half invested, now I'm not at all. <laughs> all right oh, that's great yeah so anyway sorry let's hear about this calendar <laughs> um so i just love it when comments come at the bottom it just makes my day so <laughs> fun. the calendar was a goal of mine ever since i was goal. just starting out in the fire service and i got certified when i was in i was 20 and I started when I was 20 and I got my first actual, you know, paid fire department job when I was 21. And it was jokingly like, yeah, I'm going to be on the firefighter counter. Cause back then I was quite, you know, larger and didn't have a good physique. And so over the years progressed, when I started getting more invested in my health, my wellness, my, it just sort of fell into place. I started doing the modeling, started doing the acting, started getting work and gigs. And so this past year, um, I would always see the Australian firefighters calendar. And I know uh, New York quit doing it a few years ago. So they're like one of the only ones that are mainstream, you know, the number one in the world. So I just took a shot in the dark and reached out to them and said, Hey, you know, this is who I am. This is my story. This is where I'm at. It's been a dream of mine before the age of 30. And that was actually something I'd said for many years. Before I'm 30, I'm going to be in a firefighter's calendar. Hey. And the owner of it, David, he's an amazing man. He said, hey, mate, give me your phone number. I want to give you a call. And I said, hell yes. Yeah. So I gave him my phone number and he called me that night. And after a lot of, what'd you say? What was that? Slow down. Say that again. You know, <laughs> um, he said, we want you. We want you to be here. He's like, this is, you know, the first year we're bringing international Americans. He's like, we've got one 
you're going to be one of two Americans along with one Canadian and three Australians for your group of guys to come do the calendar. And I was like, oh, my God, it's a dream come true. But holy hell, I only got two months to prepare my body. I was not in my peak physical performance. So I busted ass for two months to get properly conditioned and <laughs> went back to Australia, which is hilarious because before the mole, I'd never been outside of the country only ever right. to Australia. So now again, I, a jet setter. Now I go back to Australia again for the calendar. And I mean, it's, it was the experience of a lifetime and I got invited back next year. So I get to do it once again and awesome. hopefully, hopefully I become a staple. And it was just such a group, amazing group of guys, amazing community. You know, they do it all for charity. They've, this was their 31st year doing it. Hmm. And so they're like, we're going bigger. We want more publicity throughout the world. And so they were bringing in people from all over the world. And I get to, you know, help with it here in the United States. I got to not only showcase the work I put into myself, but help for charity. You know, all they've since they started, they've donated over two million dollars to charity. It's phenomenal. And I got to meet some of these charities. It was beautiful. And so I went and did it, and now I'm balking, so I'm a little huskier than normal. <laughs> oh, did you see that guy? I seen that flash. <laughs> I mean, it's just that's so awesome. Legit. Though I mean, like, look at it. it's an awesome picture, though. Like honestly, like yeah, that yeah. Was, it's it's one yeah, of it's, it's really sick. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's just it's i'm so happy for you like it's just especially hearing that that like specifically that was a dream of yours like I, obviously any success you have we're happy for you but like hearing that that specifically was a big dream of yours and you got to like accomplish it that's that's awesome right like yeah. like some random thing like that actually like was something you wanted to do like that's really cool I love that. yeah and it's still completely mind-blowing to me that i did this and i you know achieved this goal you know since I started acting and modeling, it's been a domino effect of things that have just happened. And that was a big one. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Very Tell cool. me more about the Canadian you met. Um, <laughs> we are familiar with is. him. We are familiar with him. Yes. That absolutely felt like worlds colliding, you know, because. Oh, yes. Steve yes. and his girlfriend were yes, both Canadian Stacey Big Lynn. Brother. Yes, yeah, I, right. I, I sure am were. <laughs> obsessed with JC Lynn and Gino. Like, and I was see, like, what, what is this? I'm yeah. like, wait, Jacob and Gino. I'm like, wait, what is this? You're like, like yeah. Cor, what's happening? I'm like, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I don't know what to do with this. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Kyle like, like had like a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, like, it really was so cool. Yeah, it was so cool to see you and Gino together. Like, uh, like it's so random, but like oh, awesome. <laughs> you're like, these are two worlds that just collided. What the Truly. hell? Oh, and yeah. those are two of the sweetest people I've ever met. I didn't watch. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that because, oh, like, I feel I, like I love them a lot. Right? You got to be so careful who you say you love. Right? You get canceled in the heartbeat. <laughs> so like, it's like, oh gosh, like, it's like these two. Like, I just I feel very drawn to them. Right? Like, it's mm -hmm. like I, I don't know. Like, there's something about them. Like, they just have such a nice energy about them. And I'm so happy to see that that's like genuine. Yeah. It is extremely genuine. They're both so soft spoken. Uh -huh. I didn't I didn't watch. Uh, Big Brother Canada, so I don't, I didn't see how they were portrayed. I know you guys know me. I'm not a big reality. No, they were, TV they were guy. portrayed great. Were they? Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I don't think. Yeah, I don't think they were portrayed uh, in a bad way. We we were big. Fa I think JC Lynn because we always do like our winner picks for the season. JC Lynn was like my winner pick, right? Like Aww. you know, like we yeah, her, we yeah. yeah, we like them a lot. It's she just I'm so team. happy like to know that like we're correct. Yeah, I mean, right. they're the kind of people who. And you, you guys know me. I can talk to anybody. I can talk about anything. It's what I do. But they're they're the exact same. I mean, they were coming up to me. They were talking, you know, like, oh, my God, you know, tell us about the mold. Tell us about Netflix. You know, how was that experience? So we talked forever about that, you know, and she was my uh, her and Caden's wife. Um, the American guy who I was with, they were my stand in girlfriends because they both were there. So they would take photos for me and videos of me and then send them all to me. And they're like, since, you know, you're here by yourself, we'll send everything to you. And I'm like, oh, you ladies are the best. Thank you. I needed content. And I mean, yeah, they were wonderful people. Oh, well, I can tell you, God. if next time you go and you need somebody to film and photograph for you, 
Kyle, I'm, I'm sure would do it. <laughs> uh, me and I'm Kyle to go would Australia get me. so bad. Like, <laughs> yeah, Kyle's like, put me on a plane. <laughs> like, please, please. Me and Kyle would get in too much trouble. They'd be like, where's Jacob? He's at the pub. Yeah, and the guy he's <laughs> brought, they're there sloshed on Jameson, you know. <laughs> That's exactly what would happen. I think Kyle threw up again, you know. Probably. <laughs> and literally again, because I always rally, and then I end up right back where I came from. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and so. I will tell you guys, the Australian firefighters have seven different calendars. Hmm. And I don't think I am allowed to tell you guys too much, but I will tell you that I am in more than one for Ooh, 2024. Okay. So wow. be on the lookout for that. We'll be able to get you guys some calendars and donate to so, a good charity, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like, let's do so, a good thing. The next time you're on, we'll all have the calendar behind us. Oh my god, yes. with, that with would a be picture so of you. <laughs> love that. Yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah. I would love that. That is absolutely perfect. No, now it's done. Like yeah. it's absolutely happening. I'm sure. <laughs> Heck yeah. What are, you, what are you pouring? What you got there? Four Roses Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. I like to be a wonderful connoisseur of Four Roses. They are a wonderful bourbon brand, and they come from a wonderful place, and it is such fantastic taste. I think really? that they are one of the greatest, and I'm not saying that just because they paid me to be in one of their uh, um, advertisements and you know rebranding, but there you go. it's very good. I highly a recommend it. Deal. Right, because we also <laughs> would not we would not have aligned ourselves with them if it was not good. Right, of course. Exactly. Right, that's right. Exactly. That's right. It's a seal of approval. Four roses. Find it. Four roses. If you're Four listening, hi, hire me again, please. I love you. Yeah. Do they? Mm. Do we love delicious. a brand deal. <laughs> exactly. I, who doesn't? You can Four get a roses. Lot of alcohol like delivery. Because now. three is not enough. Can you order from the website? You Four can. Four roses because three is not enough. Yeah. Three is not enough. That is actually perfect. And five is too many. <laughs> but is it what if you share it and just four and a half yes mm. it's like four and a couple of petals <laughs> <laughs> oh that's great Who's just a few it? petals it's so stupid i hate it um matt wants to know if you've ever seen total drama island i don't even know mm. what that is i gotta be honest he's trying total, so he's, hard to push total he is trying to push Total Drama Island like they were trying to make Fetch happen. Okay, like I cannot, I can't do Total Drama Island. Um, Jacob, it's, it's, like, it's I don't basically know what a, about. I just learned it, what Big Brother is. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it is. It is an animated reality TV show, essentially. They make those, apparently, and for who? <laughs> I guess just Blevins and. I don't know. I mean, it was it was renewed for many seasons. It's, it's really the dumbest thing. I watched about ninety seconds and said, "I really can't do this tomfoolery." I, fi I find um, it so confusing. <laughs> all right, Jacob's totally writing it down. So oh, exciting. He drama. Said, Thank you. This is after Islands. he shaded me the other day over Temptation Island and told me how Man. bad it sounded. Even though I opened the conversation saying it was bad, but he was like, "Absolutely not. I'm not watching Temptation Island with you. Sorry, bro." And it's like, but he gets his pad out. The Total Drama Island. <laughs> I so so obviously, I'm sorry. It's, it's, it's not island life that you have an aversion to. It's just whatever I suggest, basically. <laughs> oh, this is well, you're the host. You're one of the hosts. You know, I'm already on your show. I got to keep the fans happy. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. You're like, not I already wrong. got you in my back pocket. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He said, I've been asked back twice. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm pretty much a staple in this community yeah. now. So, yeah. you know. Oh, I hate that you're correct. <laughs> oh, oh that's different. so funny. Yeah. What was the show that two of the competitors I competed against, Will and Don, what did they go on? They oh. 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 Thing. Listen. We are not about dating reality. We are really not. No. Yeah. Temptation Island was our first foray. Yeah. yeah. And we don't like it. Like, we're really only watching because Big Brother. I like it. I like it. And we don't know what. No, else you don't, about. John. I do. I do like it. I have said for the last like three weeks that I'm enjoying this very much. And Nafisa is the love, the love of my yeah, life. Thank you. There it is. Thank you. That I haven't met yet. She doesn't know who I am. 
No perfect match. Reason why perfect match. Him. William was perfect on. Match. Don't, don't let him. That's don't right. let him tell you that he actually likes the, the content <laughs> of the show. All right. I, I, I think it's very good. He's not full. I think that. Wait. I think the show is very good. There's a lot of substance to it. It's very good. Um, oh, I think boy. there's a lot of. <laughs> I got nothing. I just think Nafisa's Shut hot. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Just be honest. And it's fine. It's fine. I've been gathered to many a place for a hot person. Can't wait to talk about it tomorrow. <laughs> Haven't we all? Exactly. <laughs> the problem is the problem. Yeah. You know, when I was on the mole, they asked me if I would do a dating show. I don't know if it was in correlation with that show, if they were hinting at something, <laughs> but my response was absolutely not. <laughs> I have no interest in doing dating. I said, this show was too much drama and stressful enough. I did a dating show. Nope. Mm -mm, absolutely not. And they're like, okay. And <laughs> so that was the end of that. Yeah. I bet you that's because you remember when we were together before you had mentioned, I don't know if it's, uh, you know what? Never mind. Oh. <laughs> But I don't know, just in case. I don't know when that was mentioned. I didn't watch the whole stream back. I don't want to say anything on something I'm not supposed to. Oh, yeah. I'm intrigued now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can you sign it to me? Yeah, just do Morse code. <laughs> you went from signing to Morse code. Like I was I was already going to say I was gonna say signing, there's a private chat, but exactly, fine. signing was going to be hard enough. <laughs> now all of a sudden you want to use Morse code. Yeah, um, yeah. Dot, dot dash dot dash dash. All right, so we'll use dash. the private chat. We'll ask something else and then we'll we'll go to the chat here. Um, oh, see. you guys are making this tricky on me. Okay. Oh we'll be it, it's oh, literally just gonna oh, pop we'll up your bike. Yeah, you don't oh, even okay. have to do anything. Yeah, it'll it'll just go. <laughs> even if it's on full screen. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because Gina is exclusively full screen. Um, yeah, she doesn't. So, like, she doesn't do. Does see the yeah. chat. No, she doesn't. She doesn't <laughs> yeah. do the comments on the side. She won't read. Yeah, she doesn't do comments. The, the okay, class. I have a tiny screen on my computer, and I like to see your beautiful faces. Why am I being yelled at? <laughs> I I had mine in full screen too. Yeah. Yeah, we don't blame you though. Like you, you don't have to handle comments. You're our guest. Yeah, that's you guys. You know, you guys do. I'm just here to party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man but speak so we, we were talking about um william though on um going to perfect match are there do you do you keep in touch with any of the uh your fellow mole castmates you still uh talk to any of them yeah actually um so let's talk about that uh yes god i'm terrible at multitasking Kyle. um so me and all the uh, cast members in a group chat, we talk all the time, and we all have each other's phone numbers. I mean, it's slowed down a little bit, but we all definitely... <laughs> Get yelled at in the comments for being full screen. Yeah, Gina, 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 you, knew it. It. you knew it was coming, Gina. Oh, the nerve of some people. I gotta say, unless you're doing the podcast on like a cell phone... I feel like I feel like there's no reason to be full screen. <laughs> All right, geez, I'm sorry. Shredded, just getting shredded. Always, always. <laughs> All right, oh, sorry, great. Jacob. Sorry, Jacob. You were you were you were trying to talk before you were cut off. Sorry. <laughs> well, it was hilarious. It was <laughs> worth cutting off. Um, but yeah, we all still talk. We all still chat, and we actually our chat got pretty. Uh, discussional today because do you guys have any idea what has happened in the mole world today no tell I us not. Right. in the words of greg shapiro remember him from the mole we do. Oh, words of, how, could never how could you greg. forget in the words of greg <laughs> mm, i got some tea i'm gonna spill some tea oh we love it we love it Did and we're not talking lipton no mm -mm, no oh. we're talking hardcore like Spiked Mike's tea. hard. Mike's <laughs> hard. Uh, <laughs> someone leaked the location and a majority of the cast for the mole season two. Oh wow! Oh, uh oh. On Reddit, and I think it's hilarious be to be on the outside and see. I can only imagine how Netflix is right now going. Just booming. I, I didn't read into all the Reddit. I looked at what, because we sent all this together in the group chat. And so I looked at it on Reddit and 
you know. So if this is out here, I legally can't be in trouble for telling about it, can I? Right. I mean, you I didn't already public it. knowledge. <laughs> I had no. Exactly. I just it's perfectly accessible. And yeah, it it's could, already public knowledge. It could be a lie. It right. could be a we lie. But from what I discovered on Reddit, I am just going to double check to make sure. I'm it looks my sources doing a like faux hmm. snopes. Yeah, where's my reading glasses? <laughs> I'm 30 now. <laughs> Um, <laughs> all <laughs> right big breath <laughs> <laughs> it appears season two is going to be taping in malaysia in two weeks and the final cast has been notified the final cast and if you look through the comments there is someone who starts listing all the handles i don't know if it's instagram facebook or whatever twitter but a lot of the potential cast. And I'm like, this is nuts. This is awesome. I love the drama because I'm not That's in it crazy. anymore. Well, <laughs> yeah, I, I think whether, you know, wh whether it's a rumor or true or not, I don't think you get in trouble because you're just talking about something that somebody else has already posted on the Internet. So, yeah, mm -hmm. it's Reddit. And I mean, right. you know, I've been reaching out to my Netflix contacts for a while now and they haven't contacted me back. So maybe this will be the push for them to actually talk to me. <laughs> but yeah, yeah right. Come on, man. Come on, man. I think you communication. <laughs> yeah. Did you not see my message? Mm. <laughs> Let me get messages. my messages to make sure I went to the correct destination. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, what the hell? So. Book me for more work. And that's the sad thing. You know, I, I'm in a contract with Netflix for, I believe it was like two years or something like that. And I can't, I have to clear if I do anything with another network with them, you know, I'm, it's kind of a gray area. They can give me the, okay. They can give me the yes or no, but um, a few different occasions, I had a, two wonderful opportunities to be on other shows and as soon as they heard that I was already on a reality show and on Netflix, they said, oh, we don't want that publicity. You know, you're too known. I'm like, bullshit. Nobody knows who I am. Very few. You know, there's a handful of the world who knows who I am. I Let me let me participate in your show. And they're like, no, sorry, we can't. That's, That's so frustrating. Off, yeah, yeah, I know it was it sucks, but. Hopefully, maybe Netflix will say, hey, we want you to come back for this show. Or, but I will tell you one thing is that's wonderful. Since the Australian Firefighters calendar, it has opened a huge amount of doors for me. I now have a publicist who you know is out in Vegas. I have a manager out in L.A. And these two guys are just bringing me so much amazing work. And it is the most wonderful career catapult that I've had to this day. So I've got a lot of things happening, a lot of wonderful things in the works. That's well, awesome. You're yeah. already currently filming something, right? Um, not yet. Oh. I think, are you referring to a movie that is called The Lifeguard? I am, I am. <laughs> I, I, I knew you were gonna bring that one up. Yeah, so <laughs> The Lifeguard is cool because it's filmed here in Ohio. And they do have a Instagram. If anybody wants to look that up, it it's is a, yeah, plug it. Lifeguards movie. I think yeah, I think you're right. You've already done yeah. your research, haven't you, Kyle? Of course, of Kyle said, I'm <laughs> ready, honey. I'm invested but. in my friend. Okay, it's so a lifeguards movie. Underscores in between each word. You can find them on Instagram. <laughs> and here I thought I was doing so great as the host earlier, and then you just. You know, you just like right. a like like a steam locomotive, just right past me, just that's vroom. right. Chew, chew, <laughs> chew, chew. Full steam chew, ahead. Chew. Full steam ahead. Um, <laughs> here we go. So, the the lifeguard is it's not something. It's not a big crazy job for me. It was one of those things where it's like you're in Ohio, Jacob. You're also in Ohio. We would love to have you do a kind of like a cameo almost on our movie so i don't have a huge role in it it's just kind of like a pop here's jacob okay that's it you know and so i'll only be filming for like a day but it was really cool to me because anytime something films in ohio i try to be a part of it because i just love how it's so local yeah. for me right. and i was like hey i would be honored to come and be a part of this you got anything for me and they're like oh we got the perfect role for you yeah. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I get to play funny 
and goofy. So you guys will get to see that as soon as the movie starts, you'll see about two minutes of Jacob and that's it. But it's so worth it to me because I get to participate in something that's like an hour from my house. Right. Yeah. That's Hell fun. yeah. That's, that's awesome. I mean, that's how yeah. we know each other is by doing like local theater and stuff. Like, no, listen, we love that kind of stuff. You're definitely a singer, aren't you, Kyle? I can see it. Oh, he know. sure is. I knew that's it. Right. Kyle, Kyle has done like one man shows where he like tells stories and sings and like Kyle's super talented. Do you, uh, Shakespeare, you hold the skull to be or not to be. That's just the question. <laughs> I, I am it. the exact opposite. <laughs> I, um, I perform with lyrics in front of me. There was even a show where I had a fan on and the lyrics blew on the floor and I screamed in the middle of the song. Um, <laughs> they knew I didn't know the lyrics. <laughs> and I was like, awesome. somebody please help me. I think it was Emily. I was like, Emily, help us. <laughs> yes. Emily, Emily, please. <laughs> somebody please help me. <laughs> yes, because yes, that was also before my weight loss surgery. And I was I knew that I was too big to bend over and pick up Aww. the lyrics. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, it sounds sad, but it wasn't. It was still like a really funny moment. Like <laughs> She so just like, took it. I remember, it. Emily, help yes. us. <laughs> Emily, please don't just sit there. Get up. Did, did you at least sing it? Emily, please help us. You know, that would have been. No, no, just I'm not. Stop that the show. I, no, I'm full on panic. Um, one of my best friends always plays piano for me and he doesn't stop playing. He just keeps going. He just knows. This is what we do. <laughs> I, isn't that true though? Matt does not ever help. Matt, me. Yeah, Matt loves Matt's a great. vamp. He loves a vamp. He will yeah, play that yeah. vamp until the end of time if he has to. <laughs> he doesn't help me. Shout, at all. He doesn't shout help out me. to Matt Sirico. Yeah. Oh, just, that's awesome. Just keeps playing. Yeah, he couldn't kill us. He's like, I can't wait to see how this plays out. <laughs> yeah, and that's that's the exact face he'll be making at you <laughs> while you're trying to get your scattered papers in the middle of the song. <laughs> jerk. He's a jerk. So all yeah. three of you guys are performers. I guess. Gina's a dancer. Wait, what, do you, what do you mean you guess? Yes, we are. Gina's a dancer. <laughs> Gina is not a dancer. Not. not graceful? Gina is certainly not a dancer. <laughs> no. She has a dancer's body, I suppose. That's a very kind thing to say. It is wrong, but I appreciate you. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't quite say that. But um, yeah, no. Gina has two left feet like the rest of us. Oh, <laughs> you know, we don't dance. <laughs> no, no, everything else. But that's about it. Yeah. Thanks yeah, for John <laughs> being the best twerker in upstate New York. Like I practice every day. I practice yeah. every day. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you mean upstate New York? That's I mean, whole... oh, God, did I just in, offend? Where are you guys at in New York? We, we are as we are as downstate as possible. <laughs> Oh yeah, L Long Island, baby. Oh, <laughs> upstate. Is that what we sound Actually, like you? And what do you think an upstater is? How I don't dare you. Oh, I've never those crazy ever ass people. <laughs> <laughs> there's an island of New York, isn't there? I think. Uh, well, I mean, that, there's, there's a, a well. There's there's Manhattan there's Island. Island. There's Long yeah, Island. Yeah, Staten Island. Uh, Gina actually lives in in Queens in a, in Astoria, so like she's you know she's like in the city pretty much. Uh, but Kyle and I we're you know we're we're, we're on Long Island. I'm way uh, east, actually. I'm way east. I'm okay. not from Manhattan. I'm actually not that cool. <laughs> I'm like way <laughs> deep in the sticks. <laughs> You're like me, you know. I I could go outside and I'm the Corn Belt Mafia. You know, it's nothing but cornfields out here. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I Corn Belt say, Mafia. At least I walk outside. I I do see buildings. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, the only building I see is in my garage. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. No, I do see buildings. Okay. Okay. Shoot, I was gonna ask something and I already forgot it. Damn, buildings, Ohio, <laughs> cornfield mafia. Yeah, it definitely was. Cornfield <laughs> mafia is crazy. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So ridiculous, so ridiculous. I will say that Liz wants to know. Um, have you ever watched The Traders? Oh yeah. Can't say I have. No. All right, we're gonna we're gonna give you homework. <laughs> Let's say there are. <laughs> <laughs> there are three versions of the traders traders australia traders uk traders us they are all absolutely fantastic so much fun to watch 
and you honestly would be a perfect person to be on the traders. I think you would do great on that show. I, I know exactly the show you're talking about, actually, because after the mole, I had so many people um, message me and say, are you going to do the traders? I'm like, what the fuck is that? And so I got uh, online and researched and I was like, oh, this is a lot like the mole, but more intense and pretty cool. I would love to do traders. I seen some clips from the where'd you say where else have they filmed? Uh, Australia, UK and US. I seen some of the UK one and it yeah. looked awesome. That was pretty cool. It's that would be fun. really cool. Yeah. Yeah. I think Canada wants to do a version uh, this this go around too. I thought everybody I wants in on the traders because yeah. the traders it's is a, the it, next big thing. It's amazing. I got to tell you, like That's we we have rated them all. If we had to rate them, like they're all within like 0.2 of each other. Like Australia was yeah. 9.4, UK was 9.5, the US was 9.3. You know, it was like it was like they're all so good. <laughs> Um, oh, that's yeah, awesome. really, really fun show. And I think that I think honestly, I do think that you would do really well on that show. Yeah, that would be fun. I'd do another reality show. Beggars can't be choosers. Give the people what they want. I'll do it for the fans. You know, yeah. I, yeah. we just want more Jacob. I, yeah. I honestly, all of this though, yeah, that's really what it is. So you don't watch Big Brother. Um, you, I, I'm assuming you don't watch the challenge, right? You don't watch these things. You don't watch the traders. You don't. What the hell do you do when you're off? Like I think, <laughs> I think the last. I'm trying to think the last reality show I watched other than my own. It was probably Survivor when I was a kid, and that was the days of Rupert, Boston Rob, Johnny Rupert. Fairplay. Okay, yeah. okay, that's pretty legit. Yeah, I know. I see John that's back that's there. Legit. He's like something. Okay, all right. You know what's funny is last month Survivor was in about 45 minutes north of me doing uh auditioning for their newest season wow would you ever would you ever go on that show do you like would you want to oh, be on gladly. a yeah glad gladly if if my show was more based on survival or you know like the woods or you know being in nature i would have dominated all of those divas it would have been my show <laughs> Wow. No, see, but, that's where you, that's where you lose me. You cannot pay me enough to get on Survivor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would love Survivor. Oh, that'd be a dream you know, come true as well. It's funny because, you know, we know you're, you know, Ohio's best firefighter, but, um, right. you know, but in Survivor, a huge skill to be able to have is starting fires. You think you'd be able to start fires as well as you put them out? Mm, you know, I've, when I was growing up, I used to get in a lot of trouble for playing with fire. And now I tell my mom, see, it was just practice because I didn't become an arsonist. I became a firefighter. I was just practicing for my career, but um, wow. starting them is bringing a lot of shame to smoky stoop. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. And I, I could probably start a fire. Yeah. And not as good as I can put them out, but I can start a decent one. It okay. takes a lot of a lot of time and a lot of friction, and I'd probably throw a lot of swear words, but I could make it happen. <laughs> I love that. I'd be down there like this, you know. I'd have to flex, you know, be like, "Oh, sorry, ladies, this is taking a while. Actually, we just gotta, you know." <laughs> <laughs> you see Matt's comment? He just he just has to rub a stick on his abs, and voila. Don't even need Flint. <laughs> oh, oh yes. Goodness. Matt wins the comment section. <laughs> <laughs> so ridiculous. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, my God. <sighs> Shoot. So so you pride yourself in like being an outdoorsman. Um, so what do you think? Have you ever watched Alone? Is that – that's the one – okay, the guys at work watch this. That's the one where there's people in different – sections and they film them all whoever lasts the most amount of days yes yeah this is for the wins. die hard survivor list right they're out yeah, yeah absolutely yeah I, on the history channel it's how you know it's real fucking that's legit. right that's right okay so we can yeah. swear on this oh yeah of course we can okay. do whatever you want do whatever <laughs> what you, do you think we're adults <laughs> you're 30 <laughs> now sure no, we're, we're adults you're, you're, you're the baby <laughs> of the podcast now <laughs> Yeah, okay, okay. You want here. <laughs> I was just making sure yeah, I please. threw some swear words and I was like, Oh, I don't know if that's allowed or not. Uh -oh. But oh, please, <laughs> we encourage it, damn it. We, we were, we, so know, exactly. last week we were talking about Temptation Island, and one of the people on the show 
literally said, if there were no cameras, I would suck his dick. We were talking about that. So say whatever the hell you want, man. You're fine. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> yeah, see, that's what you're missing. Speaking of swearing, though, do you guys remember yeah, that on the mole, they aired me saying the F word? <laughs> In episode eight, it was the Pizza Pigeon mission. One of the stupidest oh, missions I, I we ever that. did. I do remember I, that mission, though. <laughs> you guys I, sitting in that damn pizzeria. I remember the mission. I don't know if I remember. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we had to pick who was going to be the team lead. And Avery had never been the team lead yet. And so I said, Avery. And they cut to me, you know, doing one of my interviews. And I say... If she ends up being the mole, I'm going to look like a real fucking idiot. And then they cut, and I'm like, <laughs> no, you just aired me saying the F word on Netflix. My grandma's going to watch this. Shit. Fuck. Oh, no. I mean, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <Aaron>? darn. <laughs> yeah. I had a whole bunch of people. Dag nabbit. Dag nabbit. I had a whole bunch of people out here for a watch party, and everybody looks at me. I'm like, they just, oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my mom was like, I can, can't believe they just said put that on there. I'm like, I can't either. That was Netflix's one, I guess. <laughs> He's like, Yeah, it's, it's like so that. crazy that they just put that audio over what I really said. Obviously, I would never speak such things. <laughs> I, oh, no, never. Not, oh, wait. <laughs> not me. It's for shame. AI. Yeah, for shame. <laughs> I said no such thing. I'm glad they cut most of it out because a lot of times they're like, all right, Jacob, say it a little less than appropriately. And I'm like, okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> say a little bit less yeah, inappropriately. I try, <laughs> I try to be eloquently spoken, but sometimes the swear words just, just, just come out. You know, I, I'm a firefighter. Oh, you wow. hear, you know, firehouse talk is. Very colorful, and it's not the best. Yeah, so I took some of that with me too. Apparently, it doesn't even matter. I'm sure. I feel like you could just curse me out on the street. I'd be like, "Hey, that was a nice guy." <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I, I like bad. him. It's New yeah. York. It's still New York. <laughs> not the worst thing I heard all day. It's like you know what? He was right. He was right. I should get my fucking ass out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for setting me straight. Thank you for putting me that on today. the right track. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Liz has a question here. <laughs> How often do you slide down the fire pole? Ooh, every chance Liz, I get. Liz, my goodness. You know, <laughs> <laughs> um. So I don't know. I believe it's a federal regulation anymore. Actually, fire stations are not allowed to have fire poles because they're dangerous and they're a hazard. It's mm. some, it's very, it's upsetting. Wow. I know. Trust me. And so anymore, when your fire stations are built, they're usually either just one level. 90% of your fire stations you see that are going to be built are one level, unless you're in a city like you guys, obviously. But your older fire stations have... <laughs> He'll be back momentarily, folks. He had to take yeah. a brief intermission. You know, that's those per that's the performer in him. He's so used to an intermission, so he has to take it. Anyways, <laughs> that way, he's, so <laughs> he's still here. Damn he just told I mean, us anyway. <laughs> yeah, he did. So no, no. Really okay, believe. okay. I'll tell my fire station story. Yes. But anyways, when you get to your older fire stations and especially in the larger cities, they still have the poles. They're still in operation. They're fine. They're legally allowed to be used. But anytime there's a new fire station built, you don't have them. A lot of places are now going to slides. Actually, if you have a two station or two story fire station, you'll have a slide, which is really cool. But my fire station personally is one story. So we don't have poles. I wish we did because... I've been in the fire service for 10 years and I've never been able to slide down a fire pole and it really upsets me. Not once ever? Not once ever. That's crazy. I'm going to have to go yeah. somewhere, but fire houses are very picky on their fire poles. You know, people don't are allowed to touch them. You're usually not allowed to go down them unless it's an actual emergency. You know, they're very, very particular because that's, that's heritage, you know, that's history. So they preserve it mm -hmm. and make it, it's a big deal. So now, no fire poles for Jacob. 
Wow. Damn, what a disappointment. I know. I'm maybe in the next <laughs> maybe in the next calendar. Oh. You know what? I'll get a hold of some of those Australian boys next time I'm there, tell them this story, and hopefully they feel bad enough to take me to one that has a fire pole. Say so just so we to gotta let him do it at least <laughs> once. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's a, he's a local calendar model. We've got to let him do it. <laughs> Please. You know. <laughs> I actually, I also want to ask you another question. Um, have you, have you been in any commercials ever? Yes. I've done a multitude actually. Maybe uh, ever any for Stanley Steamer. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That, that was my most recent one that has aired yes yeah i saw um, it on instagram it's great i love it <laughs> love it congratulations it's fun. i'm a new client of stanley steamer as you know the stanley steamer gets your home cleaner that's what they say <laughs> there you go yes and yeah i've done stuff thanks, for thanks, thanks dewalt words. craftsman toro lawn mowers um pcna is a distribution company i've done work with as you as i told you four roses um I did Gillette, the shaving commercials, Stanley Steamer. Uh, what else have I done? A couple that have been filmed, but I can't say yet. So it's all right. <laughs> we'll we'll, we'll watch out for them. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Commercials are fun. You know, you never know the kind of people you're going to meet or the kind. Of I will tell you, I also have shot uh, a couple of commercials. Um, I was once the mascot uh, for the New York Islanders, uh, and my name was Sparky the Dragon. I was a big, giant, blue and orange dragon, and I went to Toronto to film a commercial for Scotiabank. Um, so I was dressed as a giant dragon <laughs> in a Scotiabank credit card commercial. It was, an, it was a national commercial in Canada. Ooh. Dang. And I look yeah. like an idiot. <laughs> you know what? If you have any Canadian viewers right now, they're going to be like, oh, my God, I remember seeing that. I love you in that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. And the, uh, the silent lawnmowers, they're actually um, – This Cadet. is apparently a hot topic, by the way. Yes, Cub Cadet does electric. The electric lawnmowers, I don't know if you've ever ridden one, but they are – as quiet no. as can be. The only thing you can hear is the blades turn. Okay. That's really? interesting to hear. They have a push version no, they're push? riders, like the actual riding lawnmowers. I know, but that sounds very expensive. I'm sure they are. <laughs> <laughs> this is I want to push. <laughs> this is actually, I got to be honest, like randomly, this is so weird and random, but this is actually very interesting to me because for some reason, I don't even remember where it was, but I was reading or no i was watching a, a youtube video actually about people talking about electric lawnmowers and how apparently some of these companies they want to make electric lawnmowers but they want people to feel like it's still that you know you know that real original lawnmower so some electric lawnmower companies will actually add a sound into the lawnmower to make it sound like a real lawn lawnmower even though it's electric i am not Surprise. Sounds like a Dodge concept when they did with their hot rods these days. They've got the chargers and the Hellcats with fake sound coming out when they got the electric. Mm, it's ridiculous. Like, does, does, does anybody want it that badly? I don't like. <laughs> right. And I don't understand then what is the. If, so if, okay. <laughs> if it's not to be silent, then what is, what is the pro to having an electric lawnmower over gasoline? It's just it's healthier for the environment. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that too. <laughs> Jacob Dave. No, <laughs> I don't I don't I'm gonna I, stop. I, I don't want to get myself canceled. Yeah. I almost <laughs> think that the question really should be why was I watching a YouTube video about electric lawnmowers? Yeah, that that's what I how did you <laughs> yeah. stumble across that? I don't I it honestly was, I, I don't I have no recollection of why it, I ended up there. That's what happened. It was three AM he altered mental status for some <laughs> reason and that's yeah, putting it very kindly very <laughs> kindly altered mental status that's the medic coming out of me sorry. Like, <laughs> sorry i just want that to be like my status message on all my socials it's just like i i am in an altered yes status. 
<laughs> no, but like that's what YouTube does to you. It's also like Wikipedia because it'll be like three in the morning and like you're reading one thing. You're like, you know what? As I'm reading this, you see a link to something else, right? You're like that sounds very interesting, but I don't want to forget what I'm reading, right? So open in a new tab and then you keep oh, going yeah. and you go to your tab. You Especially more, like I... and before you know it, it's 430 and you're like, what the hell is going on? I'm reading a lot of fake information <laughs> on Wikipedia. Well, but it's like, I, you know, I watch YouTube like people watch TV and I just keep it on auto play so by the time like an hour or two hits i'm like what am i even watching anymore because just auto plays whatever <laughs> video next. I'm like, what <laughs> rabbit hole did i go down <laughs> i googled how to spell indubitably and now i know how to make a rhubarb pie guys you know <laughs> <laughs> That's how I, it works. I've had, yeah, I've spent so many nights. And so specifically rhubarb, which is right. like such a weird conglomeration right. of letters. Like, I can tell, <laughs> I can tell that that has actually happened to you, like that exact thing. Like, <laughs> it was too specific. No one has rhubarb at the front. <laughs> right, yeah. right, right. Right. Exactly. Exactly. It's no, but I, I am totally, I'm totally the person that like at 11 PM, I'm like, Oh, I'm getting into bed. I'm going to fall asleep early. That's awesome. Great. It's 11 PM. Why don't I just see a couple things on YouTube? And then all of a sudden the sun is coming up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like mistakes have been made. <laughs> so funny. God, that was Matt. You are on fire tonight. I agree with you. It is 100% the best. Strawberry rhubarb. Mm. I'm down for anything strawberry. Um, I can't say I'm very familiar with the actual taste of rhubarb. I'm not saying I wouldn't like it, but I can't say I know what it is. Nah. You know, um, the rhubarb. What is rhubarb? Is that an herb? No, it's, it's a... Um, well, now vegetable. you're going to... Isn't it brown with, like, little scraglies? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it grows out. Yeah, it grows in the ground and pull it up. And scraglies. It grows in the ground. So it's a vegetable or an yes. herb. Um, rhubarb and mulberries. Those are my two favorite pies because, you know, I live out here with... Oh, yeah, I live out here with all the old ladies and they all make me pies. So I'm like... What's a mulberry? A berry. <laughs> you heard of this? Wait, Thank you for that wait, very specific. I mean, is this like I mean, I, am I just like um very naive here, or is like mulberry like something popular? Because I'm a big berry mm -hmm. fan, and mall is new to me. Mulberries. So I'm concerned. Morris. And I feel like I've missed a genus of flowering mulberry. plants in the family. Mulberry. I'm not gonna try to pronounce that. Consists of diverse species of I'm not going to pronounce that either. All right. It's a plant. I kind of wish berry. you would, though. I kind of <laughs> wish you would. <laughs> oh, now I'm going to do it. Let's see if I can pronounce them. Oh Wait, hold God. on. Hold on. I was confused. I thought you said, I didn't realize you were talking about mulberry. I thought you said mulberry, like M A L. He's from, he's from Ohio, Kyle. <laughs> right. I'm sorry. That, that's the issue. That's I'll the tell issue. you what. Got them goddamn old mulberry pies growing down the road. Mm hmm. <laughs> I just want to just want to clarify. I'm not that uneducated. <laughs> I guess the yeah. So I said I said like mulberry, but it's actually pronounced I like a like mulberry, mulberry pie. pie. Who the hell is a mulberry? Mm. I don't know her. Did I bring it with my bush light while I'm watching NASCAR? Um, <laughs> <laughs> but mulberry. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it is delicious. You got to try one of those, know. too. It's, you know, see, there's big words in there. That's why he doesn't want to read the definition. <laughs> <clears throat> Mulberry plant, Morius, a genius of flowering plant in the family of Moroccanis, consists of diverse species of deciduous. Okay, you're right, John. That's a hard You one. see, this is hard. It was scary. Deciduous <laughs> trees. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's tough. And that's why I said this is a plant and it's a berry, and Jacob is right. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to Vocabulary with Jacob. <laughs> we'll be back in another eight months with another definition that we cannot. However, read. however, however, I will say that the part that you did read, if that was in a commercial, I'd be, I'd, I'd say, wow, this guy's got a good voice, you know, for commercials. Yes, I love doing my commercial voice. It's great. Yeah. The Sidious. Ah, dang. That, that's always that, catching that, me. 
deciduous. deciduous. Okay. I said it like deciduous, but yes. Yeah, Matt was like, yeah, idiot. That's how <laughs> like, we, all right, geez. whatever, Matt, we're doing the, we're doing the best we <laughs> yeah. can. We're doing the best we can. Best we That's can. how we pronounce Limited it brain Ohio. cells that we have. Where's wow. Matt from? We're trying. Do we know? Um, I actually don't know. You know, it's somewhere Midwesty. Um, I know it's a different um, time It's a Midwest zone, thing. I I'm think. with you, Matt. Yeah, I know he says this, but I, I knew that before that, I will say. Nebraska. Um, Nebraska I'm guessing your guess. Illinois. Illinois. No, I think if a little bit more. So, oh, than Southern that. Illinois. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. You know what's actually funny about that is that Matt's going to be pissed at me and Kyle now. That we didn't know where he lived, I but didn't even you got guess. it on the first guess. <laughs> I didn't even bother. Right. I am the Jake of all Just trades. Straight. What can I say? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jake of all yeah. trades. What can I say? I deserve a drink for that. There you go. You deserve a drink just for being It was here. a birthday Jacob here. As you can see. Oh. <laughs> Well, you held the bottle up now, but I was going to say, Jacob pours himself another tall glass of four roses. <laughs> no, we, we finished the four roses. I That's did. gone. That's how, That's good, how it good it is. Yeah. That's, That's how good so it is. Good. Four yeah. roses is so God. good. Four roses is so good that it gets finished before didn't make the birthday the present. Bottle. It's true. It's the first thing to be drank, no matter what is in my repertoire of liquor. There you go. <laughs> Good ah, smells like good choices. <laughs> <laughs> that really is part of the experience, mm -hmm. though. The uncorking, the smell, like the entire thing is very, very special. Like that's part of why I love wine. Ooh. You know, yeah, I I love just a good crisp white wine, and there is just something about a straight out the box. Bottle. Oh my god. Bob. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I was waiting for the change in his face. <laughs> I was about to tell you my most wonderful like Friday night experience, and you totally derailed oh, me. Oh, Sorry. All right, throw some more coal Never on the fire uh, on the steam engine. <laughs> well, listen, I'm sorry. <laughs> We haven't done enough puns tonight. We haven't. Mm. Yeah, truly. We yeah, we've been slacking. We haven't. Yeah. We've just been having too much it's other true. Like we relied on puns last time. Like we're past yeah. puns. Like we're, we're already at the we're next station. Here. We're past those puns. Right. Like <laughs> train <exactly>. station. <laughs> this train continues to chug oh, forward. My goodness. <laughs> we're jumping track. Huh? No, wait, stop. <sighs> A perfectly chilled bottle of wine, okay, right? When that cork comes out, that that's just the beginning. That's just the beginning. There is something about the when it's at that <laughs> ratio of wine to bottle. That is just, it's like, oh my gosh. It, you, you start to salivate. It's happening now, just thinking about it. It's just like, oh my gosh, I just know what I'm about to get into. And you can't even, you just put the bottle down. You don't even recork it yet, right? There's no point. You don't get the stopper yet. No, 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 no. Because this is the coldest the wine will ever be, is in this moment right now. And you don't want to mm. miss it. You don't want to miss it. And you take that first sip and <laughs> everything is right in the world. I feel like I'm it just experiencing this right moment. now. Right, I'm telling you, it, the time is 4:37 p.m. <laughs> on Friday. <laughs> you already sent your spreadsheet. the The week is over. All right, <laughs> the laptop is closed, and this is what we get into. Okay, Windows is still saying signing off. No, no, no. We're already there. We're already there. Sorry, Windows, you're behind us. See, John, how specific, I don't know her anymore. <laughs> how specific that is. Like my rhubarb pie was obviously something that happened to me. This is four four fifty seven. Right. This has definitely happened to Kyle. <laughs> oh, it definitely <laughs> happened. It will. It, it it will happen again. It will just. Oh, it, this is my routine. Like this is not. Yeah, this is this is Friday. I can't. Yeah. Fire round. Uh -huh. uh, white or red. Always, always. 
Uh, yes, uh, yes, I'm with you I there. can't do red. I <gasps> cannot do red. Yeah, I mean, listen, there are some reds that sometimes I can get into, depending on who you become later that <laughs> night, right? Because who we are at 7 p.m. is no, not no, no, who no. we I, I have, I have never at 11.45. I've never right? met a red I liked. <laughs> Yeah, I have met the, but I don't know who John's they about are. to say. I don't know. I love names. dry wine. No, no, no. So I actually, I actually don't drink anymore. But oh, yeah. no, I, I never. When I did drink, I never got into wine. But I was a big fan of sangria, mm. and my favorite was white sangria. But Ooh, I wanted to ask yes. you guys, what do you? How do you feel about sangria? And and what do you prefer, red or white? I love sangria, and it's got to be white. I, I'm, I am going to walk back on what I said. I can I can mess with a red sangria, but white is better. I'm with you, Gina. Um, I can do a red sangria. I, I won't I won't discriminate, but I would prefer white. Like side by side, I'm doing white, but I wouldn't I wouldn't turn my nose up at a red sangria like I would a red wine. Mm, like mm. absolutely, yeah. I used to work um, at an ice cream shop when I was like. 20 something like 21 22 i worked at this ice cream shop in my town over the summer it was like a part-time thing and the as i was there the the ice cream shop expanded to like starting to sell like craft beers and like wine and sangria and stuff and the whole staff would be like just <laughs> like chugging sangria and then like scooping ice cream for people <laughs> now that sounds like an awesome job i would have never left <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jacob's yeah. acting career would have never happened. <laughs> I'd be thirty. I'd yeah, be I'd thirty. Be right you want nuts on that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man, so good. That's great. So, how do you guys feel about champagne? I know we are talking about the most random things on this chat tonight. But... That's what this is for. That's what this night is for. Okay. Well, that's honestly what I want. When you were like, what are we going to talk about? I was like, yes. anything you want. <laughs> I'm like, I just, I'm like, I just genuinely want to hang out. Like this is not, not pointed at all. If we get into reality TV, fine. But I literally just want to have a drink. <laughs> and I just want to hang Because I was trying to come to your birthday. <laughs> like, In Ohio. Two hours after it started. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so and that like, is uh, not a quick flight, my friend. <laughs> no. So I was like, you know what? I'll just see if he wants to come back. Home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you message me that yeah, night? That's easier. Was that the night? It wasn't okay. that night. No, I didn't want to okay. interrupt. Yeah, you got to enjoy your birthday. I, think you know, I had no interruptions. Yeah. The next, like, oh, go ahead. No, I was just say we had always, like, kind of, like, mentioned that you would come back at some point, but I was like, I don't know, like, when, like, it just kind of just happened. I was like, oh my gosh, like I would have gone to this, but now let's do this. Into the it. Like, it moment all I had my birthday party until six or seven days later, I drank and ate like a frat boy. Like it was bad. <laughs> it was really bad. I came oh, home, stepped you. on the scale and I gained 15 pounds. And I was like, oh no. But it's false yeah, pounds yeah, too, I'm, though. I'm yeah, down you know to like that. Up yeah, four. but I, I hadn't drank Thursday. I don't. I don't even remember. I don't remember because I was on vacation, and you know, I had everybody driving. I didn't have a thing. I didn't have a care in the world. So I just ate and drank the whole week, and so I didn't have anything until tonight this was the when i started hanging out with you guys this is my first drink since and i was like okay here we go let's see how this tastes uh, but it was delicious it tastes amazing delicious. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah sweet sweet well nectar. the past two times i've or the past, last time i was with you guys and tonight i thought john was drinking because he's drinking out of a red solo cup i'm like he's hiding what he's drinking he's being sneaky <laughs> but then you tell us you don't drink and i'm like oh okay so it's probably just like well, wait, see, wait, here's the let thing. Me guess. Because, because here's the thing. Because I like to drink like water or soda or whatever, but I pour it from, I pour it from this. So I'm like, instead of going, yeah, <laughs> like, instead of putting this three liter jug of water up to my yep, face, yep, why yep. don't I? I'll pour it into a cup off camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's smart. Okay, yeah, you don't want all the attention to be on you and your gallon jug. 
yeah yeah i i and i've done that before and then been like i look like a moron <laughs> <laughs> oh um, that's awesome but you know but you know you know i'm the only one that's actually drinking gina well, why do i get yelled oh, at gina does none of the <laughs> She does none of the above. She just has like little fruit snacks and stuff. She's like, a, I, she's I just rock out with my podcast, <laughs> Apple Juice. I'm having a great time. <laughs> yeah, she has her, her nice, like, delicately chilled Yoo Hoo. <laughs> you know? And here I am. I bring two bottles to the podcast. What is this about? <laughs> no, no, you're just joining me. I am always drinking on this yeah. thing, just drinking by myself, yeah. which is like a really sad thing. I think last time. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry, go Dave. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was just gonna say, last time I was on with you guys, I think I drank too much. I just, I, I. The problem was I put the bottle in the glass beside me, and it was late again. There, I didn't have to work the next day. Kind of like tonight, and I just kept pouring myself drink. We talked for what, like an hour and a half, I think, last podcast, and so I was feeling pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> and then off stream, we stayed on for like for yeah, like. I, at I least feel like we were talking until yeah. like two a.m. that night. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I think we started I had, I, Yeah, I I had COVID and I think when we got off the stream, I was like, I'm gonna go to bed, guys. And then I was still up half later because like we just kept going. Yeah. <laughs> you, you just had such good stories. But I will tell Liz for this comment here, John, please start drinking from the gallon jug. At least once a stream, I will start chugging from the gallon jug for you. Just once a stream. Just yeah. just for, for Liz. <laughs> yeah, just for Liz. Just for Liz. Yeah, just for Liz. It was specifically requested. He's going to ridiculously pull it up and just start on, chugging. I'll, as do much as he can. I'll do it now. I'll do it now. I'll do it now. Hold on. Yeah. Hold, hold oh, it's going to be a whole thing now. It's so be we're just over thing. here talking about economics and the economical recession <laughs> that the United States is going through. And John, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I also like so much. I don't know why you think conversation ever gets that oh, serious. No, it better not. <laughs> You're on. <laughs> Absolutely not. Woo. Wow. This is a request for the Mon Juan Monday. See I now, mean, Liz, he is now hydrated because of you. We thank you. Yeah, I actually, I, I feel. I feel a little better. I think I might have been dehydrated, actually. I, uh, I'm going to hydrate, Gina. too. There you go. It's it's Mon Juan Monday. Not you starting it three times. <laughs> right, not that was like a that was a it's that was a it's 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 a ba 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 Mon Juan Monday. That was just the remix, y'all. It's fine. <laughs> because it's if we're only gonna do it once, if, if, if we're only gonna do it once, I might as well get my money's worth. Right, it's like the DJ horn. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that we're doing so this and stupid. Jacob is like totally playing well, along. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't actually know, know what Mon Juan Monday is, sport. right? But you're such a good sport and I love you for it. <laughs> well, that's what I was with Mike too. Every time Mikey was like, I don't know what the hell we're talking about, but I'm, I'm here for yeah. the ride, I guess. <laughs> like, woo, Mon Juan. Hey. So Mon Juan, Mon Juan Monday was something that came from uh, Celebrity Big Brother season three. Um, they had this like designer looking bag that said Mon Juan on it. And Mon Juan was supposed to be like some big, you know, big designer. Um, and when you, but we found out later in the season that when you flip the bag over, it actually said nom now, which meant like you get to nominate somebody right now. And it was like a big ah. deal, like big power in the game. But Gina hated the whole Mon Juan thing so much, and Kyle and I thought it was so ridiculous and loved it <laughs> that now we just continue to, you know, bother Gina with it months and months and months later. Yeah, see, see how that works? See how that works? Gina didn't like that it. That was so also do it all the time. By the way, that was, by the way, if you were wondering, that was my voice in that clip that Mon Juan Monday. Was it? Oh, <laughs> man. It was also oh. like the whole Mon Juan explanation just does not fucking hold up, like with people who don't watch Big Brother, right? <laughs> because it just sounds so stupid. Like, but that's what Big is, Brother is. Kyle, it's stupid for people who watch Big Brother. I don't no, know. I know. I, that's the thing. I know. It's but just but that's why it's great, stuff. though. I know. So that was about it. How Jacob is hearing it. It's like, I'm never going to watch this fucking dumbass show. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the fuck are you talking about? A designer handbag on somebody's head? Like, like it sounds awful. 
But like, it's so good though. It's so good. Oh, yeah, that's, so that's great. exactly. That's it's great. so good because of how stupid it is. Yeah. Yes, it knows what it is. Like Big Brother. But Gina is hates it. Self aware. She hates all fun. Hates <laughs> all fun. He says. Fun hater. Goodness oh. gracious. <laughs> Stop, because it does. So sound that one, cool. that, that one said, uh, "Manwan Monday." Do you want me to do uh, Manwan Wednesday? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! I'll we'll make take one, one for, for every day of the week. I was just about to say, poor that. Gina. <laughs> see see what happens. See how they oh treat me. Gosh. Actually, if you if you give us a Manwan Monday right now, I'll take the audio and change it from my voice to your voice. So that every time we play Mon Juan Monday for Gina, she'll hear she'll hear awesome. Jacob Hacker's voice saying it to her. Yeah, she'll hate it. Even more. <laughs> it's hate it even more. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Mon Juan Monday, Monday, Monday. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna the totally echo. use that. I'm gonna <laughs> totally <laughs> use that. Stop. <laughs> Gina's gonna take control of the chat one day and she's gonna create a fuck you Friday. <laughs> well, she's gotta get out of full screen first, so <laughs> whoa my goodness, the attacks don't stop. Uh no, no, this train keeps rolling. I tell you what, oh my gosh, fuck full screen Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, poor Gina. I'm sorry. Oh, I, so good. None of this See, is Jacob, me. Thank none you. of this is me, Gina. <laughs> oh God, I'm so happy. <laughs> it's just it's all jokes. It's all jokes. It's just it's a lot of fun. It's a casual conversation series. Yes. Yes. So have all three of you ever been in a production together? We have all been in productions, multiple productions. No, together. but the three but of us together. have never done one, all three of us, actually. No. Mm -mm. But we've all, Bye. but but so I've been in multiple produ you know, productions with Gina. I've been in multiple uh, productions with Kyle, and the same thing for all of us. I think across oh. the board. Yeah, we've I, all like done one with each other, but never all three of us in the same one before. Well, I think, I think it's time for a stretch like chat on location. Ooh. I'll come to New York and perform. I'll do it with all three of you guys. We can have a little show. Oh, yeah. Well, I, 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 listen, Strat I, chat on location. I've already performed in Ohio, so it's only fair that you perform in New York. What the hell Gina, are you doing in Ohio? Gina Gina got booked on a national tour. Yeah, yeah. My, my national tour opened in Ohio, and then it got canceled. So I have only performed in Ohio. <laughs> oh, you poor thing. Cleveland or but Columbus? The no. But the important thing Columbus. is, though, Gina, the important thing, though, because Gina says that, but the important thing is that she got booked on the national tour. The only reason mm -hmm. it didn't go further than Ohio was because the people that were running it were stupid and ran out of money. But that doesn't mean that she didn't have the talent to be cast on a national tour. Right, um, you made it. So, yeah. Right. Wow, it, it's it's so rare that John says nice things to me. My goodness, I have to relish in what this you, moment. We, we, we have been doing a podcast <laughs> together. We've been doing a podcast together. <laughs> We've been doing a podcast together for two years, <laughs> and we've done multiple shows together, and we've known each other for like fifteen years. And you and you that claim I've, I've never true. had anything nice to say about you. I didn't say never. I said it is rare. It is so rare. Wow! 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 <laughs> See, she's trying to she's trying to attack me. But I but I appreciate. I appreciate. <laughs> oh, wow. I love it. Nobody came here for the dirty laundries. <laughs> <laughs> Some some would argue that they they came there solely for the dirty laundry, specifically for yeah. yeah. People came here for the trash. That's yeah, tough. That's they tough. got a little tea earlier. I don't know if I have any more. I'll have to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> we have no tea. Mm -mm. We're in our off seasons. <laughs> we are. <laughs> yeah. What's the next show that's going to come out that you guys are going to cover? Do you know? Big Brother 25. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Premieres yeah. August 2. Okay. And we will be, yeah. yeah, we'll be at a big event for that too. Yeah. We're going to um, a premiere party um, in the island, on the island of Manhattan um, with the previous uh, season winner, Miss Taylor. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. Or just self. Yeah. yeah. We're going to have a great night. It'll actually be the first time the three of us have been together in about two years as well. 
No wow. kidding. Yeah. Yeah. Like actually well, in person, we're together, you know, all the time a week normally, <laughs> but actually in person, like uh, in the flesh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That'll be awesome. We I know we're supposed to be together for Gina's milestone birthday, but um, John had COVID then also. Mm. <laughs> Damn it. John had COVID like 83 times. No, I, I didn't have COVID that night. He didn't I was have working. COVID. He just didn't go. <laughs> No, no. I texted you that night. I still remember the night you of did, your you birthday. Did, you did, you did. I sent you a text message. I was working at the Islander game at UBS Arena. And I, I said, I'm trying to leave. I'm trying to get away for like an hour to come to your party. No, I remember. Hopefully I, remember. I can. Yeah, exactly. And Kyle is saying that I've had COVID 83 times. Wait, at the Islander game, were you dressed as a dragon? So not in the most recent stint that I had. With uh, okay, okay. Actually, also, that yes, that, my version was way better. You were way protected. You were looked way right. Yeah, you couldn't just let it go. I the okay. way my brain was like, oh, he had COVID. Is that what it was? No, you just didn't go. <laughs> right. Like, I I, 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 I told you I couldn't get out of work more favorably. So please don't attack me. <laughs> Nobody's attacking you. I had to. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Tried, I was working at that time. I was working at that time for the arena that the Islanders play in currently, the UBS ah. Arena, which is like a very uh, beautiful arena. And I worked. That's actually where I got this T-shirt from, ah. to be honest, because I was working in a capacity where I was the, the arena was still under construction, and I was doing some like marketing work and like tour uh, tours of the construction site. And one of the tours that I did was for Coca Cola. And we were decide they were deciding if they wanted to be the official fountain drink of the arena. And I was showing them around and uh, they decided that they wanted to be part of the arena. And the uh, the arena made a lot of money and I got this T-shirt. So <laughs> <laughs> nice. see, you cleared it up because I'm sure a lot of the viewers thought it was drug related. But it's actually Coca-Cola. So yes, it's Coca-Cola. Coca now we know. Like, thank goodness. Of course it's Coca-Cola. It's red and white. How dare yes. you all Coke is it. people being all Coke is, is it. Coke Come is it. On, you know? Coke is it. Of course it's of course it's Coca-Cola. Absolutely. What's it? Coke is it. Except I have to say, like, I'm a Pepsi girl. Like, I don't fuck with Coke at all. All right. Like, I really don't. I really don't. I don't, I'm not even down with Minute Maid. Like, I won't do it. Like Minute Maid. Like I won't. <laughs> what, what about Dasani? Out of here. No, Dasani. Dasani, garbage, Dasani, poison. No one does I'm just we're, we're, we're talking about Coca-Cola products. We're talking about we're talking about Coca-Cola products. Dasani, just Dasani want to know. doesn't even have any has no agency in the conversation at all. Like no. Like if we had a bottle of Dasani water here right now, mm -hmm. they would say no comment. <laughs> so I, stupid. What? <laughs> It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't no, have to. No, it certainly does not. Right. <laughs> Woof. Um, Woof. Yeah. <laughs> Woof. I am a Pepsi Co girl. Um, that is that. Um, I want to know more about this studio that you're sitting in here. Um, these walls look like they're soundproof. This is very, very different. Is this for our voice overing? Like, what's going on here? So, I needed somewhere to film because I live. Gina, you'll understand. I live about an hour and a half, an hour south of, or I'm sorry, north of Columbus and about an hour and a half south of Cleveland. I'm in the middle of nowhere. And so I have to have an in-home studio for recording because I can't go to my agencies or agent out in LA to record. So I have to do everything from home. And so this is just an old office slash bedroom when i redid the house i shortened that back wall made it a lot smaller so i could have a hallway on the other side and you know i was like well what should i do with that room i'm like i know let's turn it into a studio in an office so awesome. as you can see i got my big lights there i've yeah. got I, I was really pissed off because every time i would record i'd have like an echo so i'm like i need to soundproof so i started to soundproof right. i've got the you know the cushioning throughout both sides of the walls really and, cool. this, and the ceiling yeah. and so it's not bad so it you did all that by yourself of course wow that's really it looks cool. like a great space yeah it looks like a great space yeah, yeah, it's, awesome. it's not bad it's not bad it does its job well um i'm glad that all the lights aren't on though because then you can see the biggest job that I'm terrible at is drywall, and that wall's mm -hmm. not the greatest. But oh. no, but it, it's it's actually a very very cool backdrop. And um, 
Oh, nice. Thank you. Yeah, yeah it like does it. look good. It, it looks, looks cool. Yeah, it looks it really it's like a patterned it looks, wall. Yeah. It looks good. It looks professional. All that. It, it's yeah. actually a green screen. I'm actually in the bar. No, I'm just. Kidding. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Matt Blevins wants to know if you've considered uh, voice acting. Yes, actually, voice acting is something I really want to get into because a lot of my jobs. Sorry, I'm going to readjust this a little bit. Okay, um, a lot of my jobs that I get are from like acting websites that my managers or my um, agencies push to me and there's such a need for voice acting. So what's crazy is I've always been so busy. I haven't had a time to sit down and physically do it myself because voice acting is something that I'm going to have to research and do on my own. And now that I've got a good computer set up, which I'm on now in my home office, I've got a decent microphone um good headphones i think i'm about at that point where i can start learning and doing the voice acting which is something i really want to get into another one of my lifetime lifelong goals is to have an animated series where i can get to portray a character you know every big celebrity does a disney yeah, movie yeah, yeah. or something yeah. along those lines and that would be such a huge honor to get to experience a animated show or an animated movie so mm -hmm. voice acting is definitely something i have done commercial work where it was just my voice and it's it's the goofy you know car car commercials where i'm like you know month of november is chevy month so for yes, 29.95 yes, yes. you get to come in and try your luck at getting a chevy a half <laughs> off you know things like that so i and, and they it's love great it though it actually sounds great though yeah it does it does. It's not. It's not Sam Elliott. You know. Have you ever driven a Chevy Silverado? <laughs> you know, I can't do that, but I get to do. I mean, actual... you can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounded good too. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. But you know, they like to use me for the stuff where, you know, possible side effects include, you know, things like that. So I've done a couple of those, but I'm really trying to expand my horizons and get into the actual voice acting. But my manager and agent keep me so busy with auditions for movies and modeling. I haven't done it yet, but it's a great way to make money at home if I could get into it because I've almost got this complete setup where I can. I just don't have the right yeah. software on my computer, but we're getting there. We're getting there. It's a process. I actually, I totally, I, I would love to try to break into that, uh, that whole field too. Well, I, I mean, after hearing your Mojo Monday, or what was it? Mojo Mon Mon Monday. Monday. <laughs> Mojo. It's, it's Mon, Mon, Mon Monday. Monday. <laughs> Sorry. Mon Mon. After hearing that, I think you got a career, you know, that you could definitely you know? expand on. Hello. Today is Mon Mon Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. We're encouraging I, way too much. Yeah, I get we need to stop. <laughs> wow. I have said this before. You guys, you guys I, I love how like Jacob is like encouraging me and my two good friends that I've known for a long time are like trying to crush my dreams. Yeah, it doesn't feel nice, does it? <laughs> no. <laughs> when have I ever crushed your dreams? <laughs> no, it doesn't feel nice, does it? No, it doesn't feel nice. Yeah, what are you talking about? What are you even talking about? We're, all we've criticized you for is going full screen. We we went from voice acting right back to the laundromat, right? Like, uh, no yes. one cares about our dirty laundry. <laughs> the laundromat! <laughs> actually, actually, the people that were commenting said, yes, we want to see the, door, the dirty laundry, so. <laughs> Liz backs you up, I think. <laughs> I've always said it, though. I think that I'm, my biggest concern in life is my most memorable role is going to be like for a prescription medication, but it's going to be something along the lines of like, I have genital warts and I rub this cream to help me. And I am clear and free now, you know, something along those lines. And I'm just so worried. I'm like, it's going to happen. It's going to play out during the price is right for the next 20 years. And, you know, <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe, but you know what? Beggars can't be choosers. As long as the check clears and it's big enough, I'll do it. I'll do it. There you go. Ooh. Hey, that's not a, it's not hey. a bad attitude. Yeah, well, exactly. I don't know. Like, hold on now. <laughs> Kyle's like, uh, <laughs> it has to Kyle's be like, floor. I have some standards. Some <laughs> standards. It has to Listen, be a, you get, has to be a floor. You get work, you get work. Yeah. It pays good. Okay. A lot of people have that problem, Kyle. 
You know, somebody's got to speak for them. You're damn right. Someone's got to stand up and say, hey, I'm like, you know what? That's a terrible. That'll get me canceled, too. I'm just going to stop there. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> All right, never mind. I apologize. <laughs> I don't want to say the wrong things. Then I have a bunch of DMs like, actually, the symptoms and side effects are this. You should do your research. <laughs> no, we have to be so careful. We'll I know. Until after. We'll, until after. <laughs> we'll wait until it's over. Right, right. Um, I mean, but in that vein, I mean, do we have anything else for the actual stream here? No, I don't think so. You know, how about this? I wrote, I, I wrote yeah, I wrote a couple of notes. Yeah, I wrote a couple of notes before the, the stream ah. started, but we have we have hit on everything that I wanted to talk to you about. So, I think I'm I think I'm you know, I'm done. Oh, <laughs> I think I'm good. But I'm not really done with the conversation, but you know, it is oh, in no, bad no, no. taste to just run out of the studio during the outro, right? Like you know, like in this house, we say a minute. <laughs> and we chat after, you know, um, it's like in theater, right? When we have rehearsal, you know that you have to stay in the parking lot for at least another half hour for like parking lot chatter. And like person who doesn't stay, right? Don't you look at them like, who the hell do you think you are? How like, dare you? Where are you going? You have somewhere to be? That's crazy. <laughs> like, excuse me? We always talk in the parking lot. Right. So like and I feel what's like funny. This is like <laughs> what? what's funny is that I think Jacob is like the only guest that we didn't ask to stay after that stayed after anyway. And then talked to us for like another hour after yeah, we got off stream. That is true. That is true. <laughs> it is true. I just want to make sure it's understood uh, that like, you know, we're just closing uh, the door on all this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're closing the door. But you know, yes. we want to talk to our friend more. Yeah, right. absolutely. I also have to pee again. So I, I'm, you know what? I'm with you. You're not alone here now. But Ooh, <laughs> you are I, not alone. I will say something say, here for you. You. I don't. I don't really know the song. 